Hello all. Uh, this topic is uh, related to adding splash pages to custom object tab. Uh, in general, if you say splash pages are nothing but companies' introduction pages uh, to their websites. Uh, example, uh, I will show you in the website itself. Yeah, you can say uh, when you open football.com, uh, you can see this type of page. Uh, this is nothing but uh, like an introduction page, not an home page for the website. You can see many things here. Yeah, example, this is Zara website. This is like just a splash page. It is not a company's home page. Uh, you can create uh, this type of uh, splash pages. Uh, it for custom object tabs also in uh, Salesforce. Uh, what I have shown uh, that are in general, but uh, if you open any custom object tab here, one splash page will come uh, before uh, this main page original content. So uh, in order to set up uh, this type of splash pages, uh, we have some settings in Salesforce. And you can see here, uh, you can add a splash page uh, to a tab for a custom object. And that splash uh, splash page can be an image, video, or URL. Uh, you can do uh, in these three things, the splash pages in Salesforce. Also, uh, we have to note one more point here. Uh, this option of adding splash pages will only work for custom object tabs. These things won't work for uh, standard objects. And it is just a two-step two, two process. If you use, uh, if, if you want to show splash page as URL, uh, and if you want to show splash page as uh, image or video, uh, this is a three-step process. These are simple process. Uh, I will show you in Salesforce how to do this type of setup. Okay, uh, now we are in, Facebook.com. I am just I will go to setup. Yeah. Uh, first, uh, we'll we'll create splash page uh, as URL using custom links. And first step is like nothing but uh, we have to create a custom. You just type here uh, in quick search for custom link you have to just open a custom link which is under home and i will uh, create one new custom link and you can take some link examples yes uh, I am not uh, giving any description. Uh, a behavior, uh, how it has to, uh, how it will be shown in our custom tabs. Example, uh, display new window, like example, uh, our display in existing window with sidebar, without sidebar. I will show you here uh, this behavior. Yes, you can see if you use a display in new window, it will show in the new window. If you use a display, in existing window with sidebar, the image will be shown like this. And if you use without sidebar, uh, you, you won't see sidebar in the custom tab page. Uh, these are the ways you can check it out uh, when you do this type of setup. I will use a uh, display in existing window without sidebar. And content sure uh, I am using URL. Uh, we have to just uh, give some link then. I will use Salesforce, our institute link.
Yeah, we just uh, have to paste the link here. And this page will uh, show up uh, when we open a custom tab. I will just save it. I have created a custom link. And the second step is adding this link to the custom object tab. Uh, yeah, we'll go to tab section. Yeah, uh, for uh, we we can see we have four. Uh, I have four custom tabs. Never. I will just add to this features one features tab. Edit. Yeah, uh, this is the uh, important field splash splash page uh, custom link. Here uh, you have to add that custom link which we have created just now. Um, I have added that link here. I am just saying it. So okay, uh, thus, uh, we are done with our steps. After uh, simple steps, two steps first. Uh, I have created this on teacher step. When you go to teacher step, okay, this page is not working. The web page at might be temporarily down or it may have moved permanently to a new web address okay i will just use a uh, simple block okay, i will just change the link url i will just change the url See, uh, now you can see that URL, which we have pasted in customer link. This URL you can see here uh, in the custom tab, like just has a home page. Uh, before continuing uh, with our original main page, with our original content, we just, uh, once a splash page will come uh, when we open the custom tab. If you want to go to our uh, main content page, you just need to do continue, that's it. And uh, again, uh, again, uh, we can do this uh, with image uh, as well as video as well. Uh, for that, uh, there is a three-step process. You can see here steps for splash page has image or video. Uh, the one uh, for these two steps, uh, two steps uh, we are adding adding only one uh, uh, pre-step here, which is creating a static resource. Okay, uh, we'll do that setup also. I will show you how to add image uh, in a, a splash page in the form of image. Uh, I will go to again setup page. Uh, I will go to static resource. Uh, static resources are nothing but uh, we'll use in Surface to upload any image, videos, or any document files. For that cases, we'll use. Uh, we'll uh, mainly use this in visual uh, force pages as a uh, will as a reference you can see here uh, use static resources to upload content that you want to reference in a visual force page including dot zip dot files images files uh, these all are the files and now uh, i will just uh, create a one new static resource so we can use it anywhere via pages, lightning components, LWC components, wherever we want. Exactly. Classes also. Yeah, you can go. I will use a uh, Control has catch, control has public, and uh, already have uh, one file 
ini my person dulu. Ya, yeah, I'm using uh, image which I already downloaded and, uh, in my system. I'm just saving it here. Okay, the first step is done and the remaining two steps are same as what we have done uh, uh, has URL like above ones. Yeah, we'll go to custom link. I am not uh, creating new one. Uh, I will just uh, use uh, already created one. Here uh, we have user splash page has uh, like URL. Now I will use uh, sorry, uh, I have missed one step. Uh, after creating a static resource, uh, I haven't copied that uh, link address. Okay. Yeah, uh, we have to copy the link uh, address as well here. Yeah, this uh, link address uh, we have to add in custom link. Okay, uh, here I am adding that one. And also what we have to do is, uh, we have to re remove this timestamp. Um, I have removed the timestamp here. Okay, and now just I'm saving it. Okay, I have to save saved it now. And already the third step is like uh, add that link to the custom object app. Uh, we don't need to do this uh, since we have already added this one. Since uh, I am I have not created any uh, new custom link, I have used the same one. If you want, uh, I will use this uh, for uh, branches. So we can see in branches tab. Here, a uh, splash page with custom link. I'm using custom link example here, and I'm saving. I will just uh, go to the sales person now. I will refresh. Added to branches, right? So I'll just open branch. Yes. So this was the image I have added from my system. You can see here. First, uh, when you open custom tab, uh, the image uh, shown up, which is nothing but a slash page. Used has an image. Uh, if you want to go to your original content, we have to just continue. Hello everyone. You're able to hear me? Yes. Uh, I think you have some net issue. Understood, right? That is like a simple uh, advertisement Madri, uh, before opening the tab. Okay, you can put some image. Like, okay. Yeah, I got it. Got it. Yes, I got it. Thanks, everyone, sir. Uh, we'll connect tomorrow then. Yeah.